name is Natalie and today we are going to be making a Halloween cork craft. Um, you can do this with your friends, you can do this with your kids, or if you're just feeling like a craft one day, you can do this all by yourself as well. So for today's craft, you're going to need a couple different things. First, you're going to need some twine or ribbon, as well as 25 different corks. This is going to be maybe the hardest thing to find, but you can always ask your friends, ask your family, things like that as well as acrylic paint, both green and orange, paint brushes, and then a glue gun as well. To get into it, we're gonna start with the base of your pumpkin. So what you're gonna need is four corks glued together. I've started gluing these three together already, but then I'll show you how to glue in this last one. So what you're gonna do is just put a line of glue across the cork, take the other three and push them together. Hold together for a couple seconds, taps maybe like five seconds or something like that. And then they should be good to go. Uh, one warning with the glue gun, it obviously is hot, so please don't touch the glue right after you put it on, it will burn you. We're gonna start putting together the different layers to create your pumpkin. So it does go four, and then we're gonna go five corks on top of that. So you can go individually and set them on or make it one line of corks and set it on that way. I'm going to make a line of corks and set it on that way. <laughs> so next we are going to layer it on top of it. For this one, you're just gonna take your bottom layer and then just set some glue in between where the corks meet. So I'm going to put some glue here. And then carefully line it up and place it on and hold it for a little bit. Cool, you officially have two layers. <laughs> Alrighty, so up next it goes four, five, and then six is going to be your middle layer. We already put these ones together. So again, just repeat that same process and put the glue on each side where the corks meet. Next layer is a five layer one again, or five cork one again. Awesome. And then for the top layer, you are going to put four corks together. Yay, you have a pumpkin, almost. You just need a stem. So for the stem, you're just going to take another cork around the same size of your other ones. I'm gonna go with this one. And you just put it into the middle. So you're gonna find the side that maybe you didn't open it with or anything like that. Find the more flat side. Do a little circle of glue. And then in the middle, I kind of want mine kind of like that. She kind of want mine on an angle. Cool. So now we are going to go into painting our pumpkin. You can choose to either leave the red wine stains on your corks or you can paint over them. We decided to do paint, which is another reason why we decided to use hot glue. It dries pretty fast and doesn't leave a lot of mess. So then we can just start painting right away. So just take your orange paint. You can mix your own colors if you're feeling adventurous. We're just gonna kind of keep it more straightforward and just use the orange that we bought from the store. So just go and paint each individual little circle. So we finished painting our pumpkin and final step for your pumpkin creation is to decorate it with some twine or ribbon um, and then just tie it around in a pretty bow around the stem of it. Usually you'd wait till it finished drying, but we're just gonna go for it. I'm gonna go with the sparkly stuff. Thought it was kind of fun. Mm -hmm. 
And then I'm just gonna add a little bit more red to give it a little bit more something. Now that you have a cute Halloween pumpkin, remember to subscribe to our channel down below, as well as if you decide to make it this pumpkin, make sure to tag us in any pictures or videos you decide to post. Cheers!